Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover. Today we are going to be talking about worship and we're just going to cover kind of, you know, like how to worship, you know, um, how, how you should worship and um, just kind of everything about it. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste any time. We're just going to hop straight into the verse and the verse that we have today is John chapter 4, verse 24. It says, For God is spirit, so those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. And in truth. So, God wants us to worship in spirit and in truth. What does that mean? That means is that when you worship, you want to worship with, you know, just God on your mind, you know? You want to worship God with everything that you have in truth, it says. You know, you want to worship God because you want to. You know, God doesn't want you to worship Him just because, you know, you feel pressured to. God wants you to worship Him in truth, and He wants you to worship Him willingly. God gives you free choice. He's like, if you want to worship, that's, you know, good. You know, we should worship God. You know, but God doesn't want it to be a forced thing. God doesn't want anything to be a forced thing. God doesn't force anything on you, and he doesn't force worship on you either. Even though, yes, we should worship. You know, we should worship God, and God wants you to do it in truth. In a sense of, I want to worship him. And God wants us to worship him because when we worship things start to stir up. Things start to happen in our lives and around us. And you're probably wondering, where can I worship? You can worship anywhere. You can worship in your car. You can worship in your room. You can worship at church. You know, that's, that's where you're supposed to worship. I mean, that's where everybody knows that you can worship. But you can worship anywhere. You can worship in your own room. You can worship wherever you want. And now here's a question. What is considered worship? Now, there are many things that are considered worship. It's not just giving praise to God or, you know, singing a song. That's not, you know, all there is to worship. You know, that is one part of worship, you know. That is something that you can do to worship God. You can worship God by just thanking Him. You know, just praying and in thanksgiving, you worship Him. You know, by thanking Him, you worship Him. By um, tithing, you worship Him. By, um, by helping people, you worship Him. You know, there are so many things that you can do to worship God. And it's not just singing a song. You don't need to sing a song to worship God. There are many other things that you could do to worship. And God is a God that doesn't want things to be forced, as I said. God is not a forcing God. He never forced people. He doesn't force people to believe in him. He's not like, okay, if you don't believe in me, you die. You know, God wants us to... Believe in him because we want to. God wants us to believe in him out of faith. God wants us to worship him out of faith, out of love, out of genuine truth. And God wants us, as it said, to worship in spirit. He wants us to worship not because we just feel like we have to, you know. God wants us to worship because we love him. And we want to. As I said, God doesn't want to force anything. God doesn't force him God doesn't force him on people. God doesn't force anything, anybody to do anything. God will give you choice, choices in your life, and worshiping is one of them. God wants you to worship him out of genuine love. Just like believing in him and having a relationship with him. He doesn't force a relationship on you. He wants you to actually want a relationship with him because if it's a one-way one way relationship with God just loving you and you not loving God, 
you know, you fearing God because you have to have a relationship with him. God doesn't want that because he knows that that's not genuine love. God wants us to have a relationship with him with a, a genuine love, a actual love for him that is like, I want to have a relationship with God because of what he's done for me. You know, God wants us to have that kind of relationship with him and have that kind of worship, you know, to have a worship that is genuine and actually like, I want to worship him. And as I said, you know, there are many ways that you can worship him. It's not just singing, singing, excuse, singing, excuse me, to worship him. You know, there are so many other things that you could do. And God wants us to have a genuine love. So with this all being said, we're going to have an opportunity for you to have a relationship with God. And if you want that, um, then we are going to have an opportunity later on in a couple minutes for you to accept him in your life. And uh, we're going to have a prayer for that. So uh, stay tuned for that if you want to accept him in your life, then, uh, yeah. So, but before that, we are going to have a moment of the verse of the week. So, Josiah, would you like to tell us the, the verse of the week? I can't talk right now. The verse of the week is from Psalm chapter 95, verse 6. It says, Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. It is saying that us as Christians want to thank God for everything he's done for us. So we use worship as a way to thank him. Yeah. It's it's like a genuine um, love, you know. When you worship God, you're giving thanks to him for everything that he's, that he's done. And it's genuine. It's a genuine love for him that makes you worship him in thanksgiving. So... As I said, now we are going to have an opportunity for you to accept Jesus in your life, have a relationship with him. You're probably wondering, what exactly does this do? And simple answer, believing in Jesus, having a relationship with him, grants you eternal life. It allows you to have eternal life. And that means is that you get to go to heaven when you die. So now you're probably now wondering, you know, oh, if there's a heaven, what's, you know, why would I want to go to heaven? Because, let me tell you this, you don't want to go to the other place, which is, you know, the fiery lake. You know, you don't want to go there, which is hell. And there you are going to be tortured for all eternity, forever, you know. And it's, it's just not good. God doesn't want you to go there. It wasn't even made for people. It was made for the devil. And... God doesn't want us to go there, but as it says in the Bible, there are going to be many people going. And, you know, we uh, we give this opportunity to save as many people as we can, you know, from going to where they really don't deserve to be, you know. I mean, yeah, everybody, you know, deserves what they get, you know. If you didn't accept Jesus, then you deserve... You know, hell, because it was kind of your fault for not accepting him. And if you don't want to, it's fine. But just know is that, you know, God just wants a relationship with you. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Like, you just have a relationship with God. You know, there's, there's nothing much to it. And if you want that, then I want you to say this prayer with us. Dear Lord... I thank you for today. I thank you for the good and the bad because I know everything works for your good. Dear Lord, I pray that you give me your Holy Spirit. I pray that you fire up your Holy Spirit in me. And I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die, to die on the cross for my sins and everybody else's. I believe that with all my heart. Dear Lord, come lead my life. Take the wheel of my life. My life is no longer mine. Dear Lord, I give everything to you. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that. Stay up to date with everything that we're doing. 
And yeah, I pray that you guys have a wonderful, blessed, fantastic, amazing night, day, evening, whichever it is for you. And we hope you have, no, I, I just said that, my bad. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.